They are owning us. We suck. <laughs> What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to yet another gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We have got Orzhov mid range on the chopping block. We're going to try this one out. We're going to see how it goes. This is a really cool deck. We've seen this a lot on the, the best of one ladder for a very good reason. This is obviously a traditional one. We do have a lot in the sideboard, uh, but the way this basically works is we've got a lot of control elements. And what I mean by that is we've got the Infernal Grass. We've got the Meat Hook Masker. Here is Downfall. A lot of things that are going to help us kind of control the board presence in the early turns. Late game, we've got things like recoup things like blood on the snow where we can sweep the board bring something back and really be in a good position uh we've got kaya we've got soren both of which are phenomenal planeswalkers um and the idea is that we're gonna hopefully slowly in the mid game kind of start taking things over a little bit and set up a lot of recursive engines between edgar that blood on the snow uh, Skullport Merchant allowing us some card draw here. We do have Village Rights and Deadly Dispute for both the Eye Twitch and the Shambling Ghast. Obviously, in that sideboard, we've got a number of uh, little things here that we can hit. I haven't changed the sideboard for, um, in particular, Best of One. Normally, in that situation, I would suggest you just swap out everything for Lessons, of course. Um, but I haven't done that, so we're just going to run it as is. Uh, the Edgar thing is really annoying to play against, so I'm actually pretty excited to try this one out here. Uh, and then, of course, we do have Wedding Announcement, which is going to hopefully bolster our board up, give us some card draw or some creatures, depending on what we need. Uh, and then in the land slot, we've got a one of uh, Roadside Reliquary, which is kind of an interesting one. Draw a card if you control an artifact and draw a card if you control an enchantment uh, if you sacrifice it and pay two. So hopefully we can kind of make some things work here. But I'm interested to see how this goes. This is a deck that I have seen a lot of. There are some flex spots, I, I assume, in this list. This is the MTG Goldfish version, uh, but there are some flex slots, I'm sure. Uh, I haven't always seen Village Rights as an example. Uh, and, you know, even Heroes Downfall is one that I don't always see. Uh, so I'm curious to see how this goes. I think it's going to be an interesting one, guys. We're going to jump right into it because I want to see how long we can get uh, or how many games we can get in with this one. We'll see if they uh, go long or not. But let's jump into game one right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, this is a bit of a weird hand, actually. We don't have... Uh, an untapped source, but we do have all of our colors. That's kind of odd. Um, do we keep? Probably, right? Like, we do have Shambling Gas, Deadly Dispute, Meat Hook, and Soren. So, like, all of our mid range stuff, early and mid range stuff, is kind of here. I think we try it. I, the, the opponent did Mulligan as well, which is semi helpful. No. Um, okay, well, I think we lead on the Snarls. Uh, because this is eventually going to come into play untapped. So we don't really have to worry too much about that. We got Shambling Ghast as the next play. Unfortunately, against a uh, Luminarch Aspirant, that's not ideal. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and drop that. And we'll just drop another Snarl. Uh, roadside Reliquary, huh? Interesting land. Uh, not something you normally see. Yep. So they're gonna get in for the attack there. Uh, let's see, do we want to ramp into the Meat Hook Massacre? Or do we just wanna block here and give... I think I like that better. I don't love it, but uh, let's get this off the field. It's not exactly like great, obviously, but maybe that was incorrect. I honestly don't know. Um, we'll play the Snarl because it really doesn't matter at the moment. We're going to get hit for a lot, <laughs> which is not good. Um, so we do have Blood on the Snow eventually. I mean, Meat Hook Massacre is in general a good card, but right now it's getting outpowered by the Aspirant. I do feel like Vanishing Verse would be a better option in some scenarios, so that's something I would consider, like, 
to uh, to swap out for some things here. Maybe even like a hero's downfall. Yeah, dude. Hit me for a crap ton. Um, right. <laughs> so we do play the Sanctum now. So let's see. We can meat hook for two, uh, which would gain us two life and mitigate some of the incoming damage. I think that gives us another turn. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just our best bet. Not good at all, um, but it gains us some life and gets us semi out of range of dead. <laughs> um, Clarion Spirit, sure. And another Luminar Casper. My goodness, they have so many of these. That's crazy. This thing is massive. So they just win? Yeah, they just win. That was an incredible start. That was an incredible start from them. Wow. Okay, fair enough. You got me. We had bad mana there for sure, but uh, it is what it is, guys. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys. Here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I do like this hand. We've got a turn one Ghast into Deadly Dispute or Infernal Grasp, depending on what we need to do there. Uh, the sinkhole is fine. Uh, it's not great, but it's cool. Uh, we can reveal the the swamp here to uh to keep this in play untapped which is nice looks like against the potentially discard heavy deck uh which is an annoying deck to play against that is for sure um all right let's see what we can do guys in that first game i really don't know if we could have played better or worse i i have no idea i'm sure we probably could have played better but uh what do we show them I think it's just shambling gas. I think they just get a gas, and I don't care that much about it. Like it's an annoying card to to worry about, but it's not that big a deal. I think we just pass here. Um, so we've got infernal grass. We've got deadly dispute up. We've got some options here. Another acquisitions expert. All right. So with that in mind, we are gonna do this. I think we just create a treasure token. We took Massacre, huh? Uh, I think now we show them... We show them the sinkhole. And that's okay. Um, do we Infernal Grass? No, because I think we need the lands for the meat hook. So I'm not... I'm not going to jump off with that Infernal Grass quite yet. All right, so let's do this. Um, we could Wedding Announcement just to get that going. Alternatively, we can Meat Hook Massacre just to get some stuff off the field here. I think we need to Meat Hook because this is going to trans... Well, honestly, I kind of just want to kill that. Maybe we should have meet our uh, Infernal Grasp the last turn. Um, I think I'm going to do it now. We're not playing super efficiently, so now the question is, do we Wedding Announcement? And I think we do. We kind of want to get some stuff going here. So I think this is okay. Um, it's not great. I would, If we draw a land off the top, it's fine. Um, but we had to get this off the field before they flip it. And that's a scary, scary card when it flips, so. And we couldn't let them just flip it because then obviously they just have uh, the the ability to pick apart our hand here, so. I don't think we're going to block. Give me a land. That's not a land. Um, <laughs> Alright, well, we just passed. There is consideration for just playing this for zero. Uh, I did not. But they now know we have non-land cards in hand, so <laughs> that's bad. That's really bad. Wow. Good on the opponent, man. Invoke Despair is a sick card. Okay, I think we still pass. Seriously, man. Mana is a problem. I'm just going to play this for zero. Again, just to... Uh, Ensure that we've got one on the field here. Um, 
It's a little bit of an odd play, I know, but I think it's to our benefit. I will go ahead and block now because we have this on the field, so it's going to deal a damage at least. Um, yeah, I mean, next turn we have another meat hook we can drop just to kill these, but I'm curious to see if they play anything. They could sack this. That would really hasten up the clock. Hmm. We've had bad luck so far. I mean, I don't know that we're playing terribly. I just think we're not doing great, but... You know, it is what it is. Soren's pretty good. So we can drop Soren. We can drop the Life Linker, uh, which is an effective blocker at least for a turn against the 4 4. Um, I mean, assuming they don't have a kill spell, which they probably do. <laughs> um, but this does kind of stave off an attack as well. Yep, there we are. Cool. <laughs> This is terrible. We're just getting owned. <laughs> also, Silver Quill Command? Not a card I usually expect to see, but that's fine. Yep. Well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> so what could we have here? Not that. So we're just like dead in two turns? Man, we have gotten tremendously unlucky. All right. Yep. So we can't even draw blood on the snow because we don't have enough lands. Acquisitions expert is just picking apart our hand, man. Look at this. They are owning us. We suck. <laughs> yeah, all right, we concede. That was terrible. Two losses in a row. Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, let's see if we can make something happen here. Um, this seems like a bad hand. Dude, whatever, we're keeping. If we draw like a Shambling Ghast or an Eye Twitch, which is fairly likely, we're in pretty good shape. Otherwise, we're in not great shape, but it's cool. <laughs> Let's just do this. I think I've lost hope. Uh, I think that's what's going on. Oh, okay. No? What? Hive. That was weird. All right, so we just play this, and we've got Village Rights up, which is helpful. Um... It's actually really helpful. Okay. Um, so the question is, do we just fire off the village rights now so we can get Edgar down next turn? And I actually kind of like that. Uh, so we'll make a treasure token. I'm not worried about the 1-1 one -one at the moment. The wedding announcement's not bad either. Um, let's go ahead and get the Edgar train going here. That seems pretty good. So far, we've only seen white from the opponent, and it looks like that's going to continue. That's kind of interesting. Um, okay. I mean, we can kill that. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Is we have two or three? So how aggressive do we need to be here? Uh, I do think we just kill this. They get disturb off of it later on, I know, but I'm not really worried about it. Let's get an attack in. All right. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hollowed Haunting. That's a scary card. Um, so we can Hive of the Eye Tyrant here, which I actually really like, just to get this out of the, the way. Not that they're going to play it anytime soon, but it just removes that as an option, uh, which I think is pretty reasonable here. I would have loved to have gotten the wedding announcement down, but I just don't think now's the time. Okay. Soren, huh? Uh, let's get double white. That's important, I think. Um, so we can just hit for four with the uh, Meat Hook Massacre. Though I feel that might be useful later. Let's attack. They can block with the faithful or the faithbound judge if they want. That's fine. Okay. Looks like they're not going to. Um. I'm gonna Soren. Right. Let's do this. 
yeah, I think that's okay. Um, nice that the uh, Edgar works very well with the vampire tokens off of Soren, by the way. Really cool little interaction. I don't know that that was 100% the correct play, to be honest. Um, I have no clue, but my thought process is I'd like to save the meat hook for when they've got a lot of stuff, which they're obviously getting a lot of stuff now, so that's something to think about. Let's go ahead and plus Soren. We know we're going to. We can reveal that. Um... Okay, so how do we want to do this? Uh, first things first, I think we just attack. Sure. This isn't really for the, this is mo mostly for the wedding announcement play. Oh, they're gonna try and kill Edgar. Okay. Uh, I think we just go with that. That's cool. Um, now we can massacre for one if we'd like. Which I will do. And play wedding announcement, which is then gonna draw us a card. Um, and we'll go ahead and play the second hive. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think that was a pretty reasonable turn. We lost Edgar, but obviously we're just gonna get some bat tokens, which I think honestly at this point are more widespread and important <laughs> uh we also just have hive of the eye tyrant that can get rid of that faith bound whatever okay nice that they're playing an enchantments deck so they don't want to uh <laughs> blow up enchantments that's cool um i think we're gonna start by plussing soren i'll reveal that that's cool uh yeah we're definitely gonna do this oh did they they exiled it anyway didn't they yep uh that's fine we'll still attack him and they take it wow um let's get crawling barons and skullport merchant down create a treasure token let's get eye switch down cool Okay. So they could have a really bomb turn here, which would suck <laughs> uh, with the Hollowed Haunting. That's a little worrisome, but we are doing our best to spread things out here. That's very good. Uh, Katilda's sick. Um, can we fight through Katilda, though? I think we might be able to. Oh! <laughs> Meat Hook's really good. Um, so we can Meat Hook for four... Seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then we just win, right? This deals three damage to them. Do we just win? Yeah! All right, we got a win! Uh, that was, that was tricky. <laughs> that was really tricky. I think we played pretty well on that one. Guys, let's talk about this deck real quick. All right, guys, so two losses and a win. Uh, overall, interesting. I I think you could very easily tool this deck out to be a bit better. Uh, what I mean by that is I think, like, for mana efficiency's sake, there are a lot better options for the removal package. I think Vanishing Verse is really good. Uh, it also exiles, which is crucial. It hits more than just Hero's Downfall. Uh, Hero's Downfall, I think, is just outclassed by vanishing verse like most of the time not all the time certainly if you're up against like a multicolor deck like it doesn't hit like a tamio as an example or a, an opposing kaya but the planeswalkers and the big enchantments like hollowed haunting or lolf on the planeswalker in that you see it deals with immediately and it exiles them uh and that's pretty crucial in today's meta uh, solely because we've got so many like blood on the snow decks and recursion and all that kind of stuff. So I would highly suggest like swapping some cards here and I think you'll have better results than what we had. Uh, I think we played okay. I don't think we played terribly. Maybe some sketchy keeps, that's for sure. But uh, obviously we are able to sneak out some wins there. We did that in that last game and that felt pretty good after that battle. Um, but overall, I mean, it's an interesting starting point. I like the deck, but I feel like if you're going to play a deck like this, um, just play mono black control. <laughs> uh, it just seems really good right now. And so for me, that just seems like the place to be. 
all that to say though, uh, it was still a fun time and I do think there's some legs to this deck. So I do enjoy it a lot. Uh, great to be able to play it today. But guys, thank you so much. Please like the video if you uh, already, if you haven't already. It really does help us out, gets us in the algorithm, that kind of stuff. But commenting, subscribing also is a tremendous, tremendous help. We do have a giveaway for Streets of New Capenna going on right now. We're giving away a draft booster box in early May. So please check the details out there. Uh, but all that to say, guys, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again very soon.